God is just so alive in our church. You can see it from the moment that you walk in the door. My name is Micah Tazzo. This is my wife, Courtney. Uh, we have four kids, Jonah, Sadie, Quinton, and Graham. We've been coming to Village for about uh, five years now. Courtney was invited to come see Mops and visit Mops, and then from there it just kind of snowballed. We tried to church out and just kind of hit the ground running. The, from the first time that we walked in the doors, we felt very welcome, and we felt like it was a really good place to be. We just continued going and loved it more each time, and so we've stayed there ever since. We've been a part of Village now for a few years. We started serving pretty quickly on uh, after we started attending Village. Um, we got into the preschool teaching Sunday mornings pretty quickly and we've done that for four years. This is actually the first year we've not done it. Um, we lead a small group here at our house. We've hosted it now for a couple of years. I am involved in the Sunday morning child check-in um, and I'm also on the landscape team. I like to consider myself a lumberjack specialist. We also have served in Awana for the past several years. Um, we are a part of the Sparks program, which is kindergarten through second grade, and we both lead a group for that, and we enjoy doing that on Sunday nights. MOPS has been a huge part of my ministry walk, I guess, at Village. Um, when I started leading, they needed, you know, they needed new co-leaders. I decided to give it a try. It was out of my comfort zone. I don't like being in front of other people. I don't like being per se in charge of something. I kind of like to be more behind the scenes. It's just been so rewarding and fulfilling ever since I started. And then now into my fourth year, like there hasn't been a moment where I thought, oh, why am I doing this still? Being a part of Village has really helped equip me for my serving. Um, again, it comes back to MOPS. Because it was outside of my comfort zone, um, it's just really pushed me to be more of a leader. It's just awesome seeing these moms come into our church and be able to have a group of ladies um, support them and rally around them in the tough times and the fun times. And um, a lot of these women do not go to church and for them to be able to come in and see us and our leadership team and the way um, we know the Lord and can share that with them in a very non-threatening way is just awesome. I just know that that is all God and the more women that come through our door, the more women we could possibly reach who don't know the Lord. The Village Bible Church uh, family has really helped uh, equip us to serve. Being asked to co-lead the small group a couple of years ago really helped um, equip me to serve even more so. Because now that I'm leading it on my own, I know that I need to be prepared. When it comes to leading our small group, it uh, it is it, it just I find it very special to be able to worship here in our house because that's really what we're doing. We open up our house every week, and we get to worship. We pray together. We uh, study the study the Word of God, and we try to dive into each other's lives. And it's just really Really, it feels really special. So thankful for the leaders that teach such sound biblical truth um, and encourage us to live it uh, when we leave the church walls, that encourage us to be bold. Um, it is just a, it's just a really special place. As far as those who support the ministries at Village Bible Church, um, I think that we would just say thank you. We know that all of these ministries would not be possible without financial support from the church. So thank you to all who support the ministries and what we do. Thanks, Thanks for, for being, being all in. in. God is pouring out his spirit at Village across all our campuses and it's powerful to see. He is using your financial gifts to impact lives. Your gifts are making a difference and Micah and Courtney's story shows it. All In is our year-end campaign calling all families to give sacrificially as we remember all Christ has done for us. This allows us to finish the year strong and positions us well for 2018. Our prayer is that each and every family represented at all four campuses join us in this All In journey. Next Sunday, December 10th, I invite you to join me in bringing a special All In offering. While we can give it any time this month, we want to give together as a body, coming forward during the service and giving them to Jesus in an act of faith. 
If you have a family, include them in the process and invite them to participate on their own too. Use this as an opportunity to pass your faith on, inviting them to watch God work as we trust in Him. Take some time this week to ask God what He may be leading you to give. Talk it over with your spouse and ask God to bless our work and continue to pour out His Spirit and use us to expand His kingdom here and all over the world for His glory and our joy.